I've got big news. You're on the path that will help you to become an expert with fractions. Today, I'm sure stoked that we're learning to understand sixths. One sixth is an example of a unit fraction. Unit fractions are the building blocks of all other fractions. Look at the divided square, dude. This awesome guy has six equal parts. He's split into six one sixth pieces. Look at those equal parts, not me. Ask yourself then, how many sixths does it take to make a whole? How many are there making this cool guy? Did you count his equal parts? Yes, it's six. Let's use this number line to help us understand how we can build from zero to one with units of one six. Zero, one six, two six, three six, equal to one half. Four six, five six, one. Each jump is a unit of one six. How many sets of one sixths do you see on the number line between zero and one? That's right, six sets of one sixth equals one. Out of these six things you might find in the forest appearing on the line, how much of them would one sixth be? That's right, one of these is equal to one sixth. How many of these 12 random trees appearing on the lines would be one sixth? Remember, one out of every six is equal to one sixth. That's right, two of these 12 trees would be one sixth. I knew because 12 divided by six equals two. If I go on a six mile round trip hike and bring 36 ounces of water in my water bottle, that means I'll be able to drink one-sixth of the water per mile. How many ounces can I drink each mile? Pause the video to solve this. If one out of every six ounces can be consumed each mile, then I can drink six ounces of water each mile. I knew this because 36 divided by six equals six ounces. Give yourself a big hand. You're doing quite well with fractions. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Teachers, head over to TPT and check out my Whimsical Teacher Tube teacher store. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell for notifications.